Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna try to explain my workflow making a sample beat. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. Okay, first of all I dig in the crates looking for something beautiful, something that I think it could be it could be great for sampling or for making a beat. I always take jazz records because I love jazz and I love to make jazzy hip hop. The last record I took was this one. It's a Chet Baker's album with David Friedman on marimba and vibraphone, Buster Williams on bass and Joe Cambers on drums. Let's listen to it. sample this song so beautiful okay when I got the song I always sample on my SP202 using the lo-fi one sample rate and then pitch all the samples down to get that lo-fi crunchy sound that I love. I already have all the chops in the 202 so I'm not gonna show you all the entire process chopping it up but I want to explain to you how I make different chops on the 202. Like some of you know in the 202 you cannot edit the start point and the end point of your sample. So you've got to hit the button record just at the start of the sample and hit the button record again at the end of the sample. I'm gonna show you. Now I got this sample. Okay, so when I got all the chops I want on the on the SP, I pitch all the samples down. I start to make a little freestyle looking for a good sequence to find that that tone I want. When I got the sequence, I record all the chops on the MPC because the SP has no sequencer. I got all the samples right here.
and now it is one of my favorite moments it's time to add some drums in this floppy I got my own drum kit that I made by myself one day I will explain you how I make my own drum kit in this floppy I had this kick this snare and this hi-hat I record the hi-hat using 16 levels Okay, when I got the drums, I always like to add some voices on my beats and in this case it's an acapella from Bahamadia that I took from this single. Taking him seeing back to where it was before. And finally, when I got the beat with part A and part B, I always record the beat on the SP303 playing with track mute on the MPC. I make this because I love the three band equalizer on the 303. And then when I got the equalization that I want, I make a resample and then I can play with some effects like isolator, like delay, like, um, I don't know, um, phaser, whatever. Taking him, seeing him back to where it was before. Okay, so this is my workflow making a sample beat. I hope you like it and thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.